All right, let's work on this table here. Um, so here we've got four different um, species, atoms or ions, and we want to fill in this information about them. So we will be using our periodic table. Let me scoot this up so hopefully we can kind of see uh, these on the same picture. Okay. Okay, good. So here I have silicon. There is silicon. So remember if you know AXZ notation. So A or AZX. Okay, so there's a symbol. A is going to be atomic mass. Z is atomic number or number of protons. So that's easy. So these two columns should be the same. So that's 14. Now, how we, do we get the mass number? The mass number is protons plus neutrons. 14 and 14 is 28. Now, the charge is determined by the balance of protons versus electrons. If they are the same, you have 14 pluses and 14 minuses. That adds up to a charge of zero. Okay, let me scoot this down a little bit. All right, S minus two or two minus. All right, let's look at S. Here it is, that's sulfur. It is atomic number 16. So let's go ahead and fill these in. That makes things easy. Now, we need to know electrons and neutrons. Since we're dealing with this, I'm going to go ahead and do the neutrons first. You can do this in any order you want to. Okay, so we know protons plus neutrons is 32, and we have 16 protons. 32 minus 16 is 16. Now, the charge. The charge is indicated up here and here. The charge represents the number of electrons and protons relative to each other. So if the charge is negative, that means that should tell you there's more electrons. So there's more electrons by how many? Two. Do we know how many protons? Yes. So we need two more electrons than protons. Let's do the next one. Cu2 plus or plus 2. All right, so let's find Cu. That's copper. Here it is. Atomic number 29. So let's fill those in. That makes things easy. Here it gives us the number of neutrons. So let's add that up real quick. 29, 34. So 63 is the mass number. Now, the charge here, so you notice this is positive. The charge is positive. You just kind of copy that back. Now, there are, in this case, there are more protons because it's positive by two. So there's two more protons than electrons. 29 protons, that means there must be 27 electrons. It's not that hard. Okay, let's look at this next one. It doesn't give us a symbol, but it tells us atomic number. Atomic number is 15, it means there must be 15 protons. What's number 15 on the periodic table? Phosphorus, okay. Now, let's look at protons plus neutrons, gives us the mass number. And charge, protons versus electrons, they're equal to each other. Neutral atom, you don't have to put anything there. 